All right, we got them, everybody. The Sip and Savor Pass for Lunar New Year, as well as the Tasting Passport. We're going to do a virtual one for you. Let's show you around. One of the cool things that they've done with the pass is there's a barcode on it. Starting off, we have Wrapped with Love. Over here they have the dumplings as well as a few drink options onto bamboo blessings. Here we can find the hot dog bun, the macaroons, the iced coffee and cocktails, the spice traders. has the red spice chicken bites and spicy fried rice as well as a few cocktails now we find ourselves at prosperity bao buns where they have the kung pao bun the barbecue pork bun and a few beer options the lucky lantern has this quesadilla egg roll some cake and cocktails and last but not least, Longevity Noodle has the delicious garlic noodles that are always here, some shrimp lo mein, and others. And here we have all of the wonderful merchandise. Celebrating the new year with mini ears and the spirit jerseys for the year of the dragon. We also got some minis with dragons on them. They also have all the 2024 merchandise out, so while you're celebrating the Lunar New Year, you can also celebrate the New Year in general. Now let's get into the entertainment. We have the parade. There's a spot we're going to show you in a sec where you can meet Disney friends, as well as people from Red Panda. And then there's also boards around to talk about your zodiac animal and crafts and arts and calligraphy artistry all this is happening here at paradise gardens let's go take a look I thought these were pretty cute. In our family, we have a pig. I'm a dragon. We've got a tiger, as well as a snake. What are you guys? Now over in the gazebo, you can meet some of the friends. Goofy was out. And over under the symphony swings, they have this magic key area with photo ops. Some of the decorations. This here is where you can meet Red Panda characters. And they also have these carts all around for the Lunar New Year. This is a cute one that has a bunch of cards. Cookies and sweet treats over at this one. <laughs> Make your own slime. And some more food.
Mulan friends are honored to share the beautiful Chinese traditions and heritage of this joyous holiday. Please join them in welcoming Wushu as we celebrate the Year of the Dragon. The blooming flower is a comforting symbol for Mulan, as a father taught her that she would blossom beautifully in her own time. The spirited dragon dance is one of Mulan's favorite traditions. She learned from her ancestors that the wise and powerful dragon dances across the sky to scare away bad luck and bring good fortune in the new year. When Mulan was a little girl, her mother taught her that traditionally, the ribbon dance was performed for royalty as an expression of gratitude and honor. Mulan loves to score the colors of the ribbons. Mulan learned to respect the strength and discipline of the martial arts from her father. This centuries-old art form celebrates a rich heritage of bravery and honor. Well, that's a wrap for today. We hope you enjoyed our preview of the Lunar New Year Festival for this year. We'll actually be back later this week for more videos to try out some food. So look forward to seeing you all then. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and have a great time.